you know, we talked about it on the last spoiler cast with Neil that the after you beat the game, the new start screen is the boat on the shore of Catalina Island. Like, right. The assumption being that they've made it. Do you think about that? Do you think about where Abby is after we leave her, after she gets in the boat and goes away after this in- incredible fight scene with Ellie? Which took, which was a beast to shoot. I don't Tell know. me all about it. Hold I on. Think- stop there. We can get back to Catalina Island. Give it to I'm me not- in time. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I guess that's the other thing too. Like again, big idiot who doesn't know how to act. But for you, you actually go and you're like, I'm gonna, you know, try to get jacked for a little bit and do all this different stuff to then end the game emaciated and in a completely different spot. Like, what is that? Is there a journey there where you have to sit there and like, did you also study that and what that? I, how do you play I, that? So I didn't know. That's one of those scenarios where you know we don't. The character signs aren't always completed when we're filming something, and I didn't know how far. Abby was being taken uh, down that path when we were shooting that. I knew, you know, what she'd been through up until that point, but hadn't fully understood physically what that meant. Um, Not that it changed my performance at all because like I knew she was beat the fuck up already. So, uh, you know, but, um, but yeah, no, we, when we, we, when we shot that scene, that took a lot of, trust between me and Ashley because I mean it was it was a lot emotionally what she is going through as she's about to to kill Abby is everything that I was going through with Joel but um it's like right on her as you're seeing it sure um and she was you know on top of me and we were genuinely (laughs) <laughs> as we're doing it and what's crazy is like a- abby's being held underwater um in all of that moment and uh i was i, I like made an a conscious choice to not breathe sure uh when ashley was holding me down so that i would understand you know what was happening and it was being crazy and in that moment, I know Ashley, like at the end of it, when she finally like let go, because she holds it, she holds it for a long time. Yeah. And when, um, when she finally let go, I came up to like suck in air and your body won't let you breathe for a second. So there's this like extra like terror of like, yeah, of that moment. But Ashley said she stopped when she looked down, like came out of Ellie for just a second and saw my lips were turning blue. <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> Man, we need help. Came out, but, and I know that seems like maybe it was taking it like too far mentally. Like, why did I do that? But uh, I don't know. It just seemed appropriate in the moment. Yeah. And so it was that idea of like, oh, wait a second. Like, you're just the people who are mad at the game. You haven't beaten it. You just don't care. Everybody who cares about it is off not watching this because they're playing it. They don't right, want it right. spoiled. And sure enough, as now time has passed you've seen the it go the flip flop where the spoiler cast is way up on thumbs and it, people are enjoying the discussion now that they've beaten it right, i think right, that's right. it was the problem that there was no positivity to be found in the beginning because everybody's playing it and they don't want to talk about it yeah they don't want anything spoiled sure yeah 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 totally and i mean if if all you know about uh, my character is what is presented in the leaks or yeah you know what you've seen online it, some of it is false obviously and some of it uh you don't you don't get her her side of it yes you don't get the context and, yeah context and so, is everything i mean I, I i get it i get the anger i get i get the grieving for joel yeah that's, and that's what people are doing they're grieving for a beloved part of themselves like people love joel and there are five stages of grief you know, and I mean, I know that sounds stupid. No, but no, you're it's, it's totally accurate. Truth and we're seeing you can see it like the 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 reaction to his death. Exemplifies those five stages of grief. Yeah. That's the I guess the fun part about this for you, right, is like no matter what you do in your career from here on out, this is what you'll be remembered for. You killed I mean, Joel. So that's I've seen a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're the person that killed Joel. I'm like, I'm not. I'm an actor, actually. No, I'm yeah. I, I, the person that killed Joel. I still uh, hang out with the guy who plays Joel. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> this is, like, this is we fiction. Were, we were talking on the phone the other day. Yeah. Actually, Troy, I, 
I love, 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 love him. Um, Troy is one of the, the people that helped me the most when uh, like the full onslaught hit because um, yeah, I, I gave him a call and I wasn't even trying to like call and talk about that. I was just talking and his first question was, how are you doing? <laughs> And I just lost my shit. Yeah. Um, and he's just, he's just so wonderful and he just helps so much, you know? Yeah, no. And I think the, you know, obviously I'm, I'm lucky enough to know you guys and call you friends, uh, not even cool friends, just friends in general, right? <laughs> and so I've known for years because over drinks or at a dinner or whatever, just talking to all of you about the characters you portray, I'm so happy that in the last spoiler cast with uh, Ashley and Troy, the overwhelming comments I saw coming out of that were, oh my God, like, you know, they talk specifically about how much the characters mean to them and how, you know, this conversation of like, well, that's not what Joel would have done. Joel would have never trusted them. And Troy to be there and be like, listen, man, there's a, there's a moment where you see his, and he knows he fucked up. And it's like, yeah. that's, it, this, like, oh, it's shit, been, that's what happens. It's been years, right, of us living with these characters and years yeah. of these characters evolving. And that's what I think so many people lost sight of. That when you saw Ellie the last time, she was a, a teenager. Yeah. She's lived so much. Yeah. And so to see, yeah, you know, that like that, because it never, it never was anti-Joel to me. I always thought that, you know, especially coming out of the first game, I was like, Joel's actually the bad guy. I don't, you know, Joel's got a bunch of other things going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so to like, for me, where it got driven home even more but definitely broke me was going into his house and finding the drawings that ellie had done for him yeah that, seeing their history totally and going into um his uh, workshop where he's got the guitars and he's in the middle of woodworking this like cowboy and it's like oh my god like this guy's got hobbies and interests <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean like, like we've never shelves of all of his sculptures and shit. yeah we've never like, seen my dad my dad has a shelf of all of his tanks that he's painted you know yeah like, it's it was just, like this downtime that you never get in the first game because he wakes up from his nightmare and Tess is like, let's go. And then it's off yeah. in this journey where you have to kill or be killed. And so to see yeah. what it would have been like to have four years of living in a community and just being a person again and letting your guard down, I do believe that you'd run into Abby and run into Abby and see in her, hey, she reminds me of Ellie or just, hey, another person who helped us get by these, uh, you know, yeah. uh, infected. I just saved their life. You know, yeah, she's and grateful. then yeah, they, and, then, and up until we say our names, everything's totally cool with the people we just yeah. Met, right? I mean, up until he said his name, they probably would have you know been great. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah, like it's to see people reacting to Troy and Ashley reacting to what it was to be these characters. I think that's what's powerful right now in this post game launch discussion. I think it's the same for you, of like you have like you're saying the stages of grief and what you think about Abby and wherever you were on it. And it's like, you know, to get to the end of the game and have these discussions and be on podcasts and me be like le legitimately like, I like Abby more than I like Ellie in this game. And again, I think it's cheating. Like you're saying it's redemption, right? In the way right. of like, of course you wouldn't like, yeah, you, yeah, you can see the, the, the good. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I love that. That's what Abby was striving for. And I feel achieves at the end. And then it is even at the end of, well, what is Ellie's new, goal you know what i mean she walks off into the woods and this is a conversation we had with everybody in the last one of like is she going back to dina is she going to be a nomad uh, is she going to find the fireflies herself and uh complete what she started yeah yeah, yeah yeah lots of questions and there's no dlc so we'll have to never know 